Hi, I'm Justin. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be installing an Anderson EV charge point on a post. There's a bit more involved with this job, so follow me and I will talk you through the process of all the work needed. So over here, this is where the charger is going to be fitted. We're going to need to sink a post into the ground, which is going to be fitted uh, and fixed with postcrete. Uh, the Anderson will eventually be mounted on the post here. In order to get the cabling to this position, we're going to need to dig a trench uh, along the line of this fence to the corner of the property. And then from there, we will clip the cable low level around the side of the property and round the back. And we'll pick up round there to show you the remaining routes that we're going to take. So Adam and Matthew are making some good progress, digging the, the, the hole down for the post. There's a bit further to go with that. And then they'll be making their way, uh, digging the trench uh, from that point there, following the, the fence um, across to the corner of the house. Uh, so we'll pick up in a bit and see how they're getting on shortly. The cable is going to come out the duct in, which is roughly going to be somewhere down by that downpipe at the corner of the property where we were earlier. The cable is then going to be clipped low level all the way along the side wall of the house and then it's going to go through the corner of the property here and the, and the fence post and we'll continue the route around the back of the property in the garden. Now we're on the other side of the fence and the gate. This is going to be uh, the corner where the cable is going to come out. We're going to take the cable down as low as we can and hopefully there's just a, th a thin gap between the patio and the brick of the, of the house, um, which is currently filled with some decorative stone. We're gonna just pull all that stone out and hopefully drop the cable down in there, and that'll give us a nice disguised route once the uh, stone's pushed back over the cable. The cable will be hopefully hidden completely out of, out of view, um, so that'd be nice. So we're gonna continue with the cable routing round the corner of the property in the same fashion as earlier where we're going to pull out the decorative stone uh, and tuck the cable down low level so that when the stone goes back it's going to be hidden so that's that's a great um, opportunity to take there with that so that'll look really nice when the cable's all tucked down. Um, the cable will continue all around to the corner and over in the corner just below that window is um, some ducting that passes straight through to the consumer lit which is under the stairs so that that's really helpful as well. Right, so we are at the stage now where we've concrete the post in and Matt's just taken along here to finish doing the ducting. Then we'll lay the safety electrical tape um, and then backfill basically. So we're now just gonna lay the caution tape down so people will know that there's a cable underneath if they go to dig here. So now the engineers are now just routing the cable through the gate post and running the cable down to the charger. Then the next stage will be to clip that cable with some cleats low level along there. So this end of the cable is going to head down to the charger and on the other side of the gate is the remaining cable run which will make its way around the house back to the consumer unit. Our engineer is now starting to install the Anson EV charger onto the post. This was previously fitted over on the detached garage, so it is now being fitted onto the post. Um, the cover that that originally had was the uh, charcoal wood, and now we have been kindly given the metal 
front cover in the putty stone finish. So our apprentice Matthew is very quickly clipping the armoured cable down the side of the house. Uh, once he gets to the end, he'll continue that uh, through the gate post on the other side where we'll get round to the point where we're going to pull the stone out from the gap and tuck the cable in down there. So we're at the stage now where we're just working the cable around. Um, Matthew's pulling out the, the stone from the gap between the patio and the brick, uh, and that'll give us enough space to drop the cable down into this gap and push the stone back over, and hopefully we won't see any cabling at all. So now uh, Matthew is pushing the armoured cable through the ducting, which passes through the toilet, uh, through into the understairs where the consumer unit is, and uh, Adam is under the stairs now, uh, collecting the other end of this cable. Let's go and have a look. So now we're going to fit this front panel, which is the putty stone colour. Thank you for watching the video today of us installing the Anderson EV charger on a post with um, Groundworks and the ducting that we did. Uh, I'd like to do a special thank you to James at evchargerpost.com who supplied the post for us. We use them for all their all of our um, posts that we do for chargers that need that. Um, also like to thank Adam and Matthew today. Thank you for your hard work, really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video today, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.